Okay, let's make some cute wood block Christmas Christmas gifts, but these are cute for your three tier trays. So you may see these again after we create them. This is just some scrap wood from the wood shop. This one here is two inches. Two by two by four. Two inches by four. And this one here is four inches. Four by this one's four by four. Four inches by four inches. And this one here is four inches by about five. So if you want to recreate these, I paint this one white, this one red, and this one a green. But it's whatever color your decor is this year for Christmas. You could paint these. So if you do turquoise, you could paint them turquoise. I want turquoise. You could do turquoise white and silver. You could do a light blue. You could do a gold, red, and green. Whatever color you decorate with. I'm doing a lot of red, 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 and I'm doing peppermint theme this year. And here is how I'm going to start. I'm going to look at it and see which one's the best side. You always want to put your worst side in the back. I'm going to take my glue gun. Add a dot of glue. This will be the first time I made these. So. Thought I'd make them along with you. Okay, now I'm going to add, well, I think I might just use this as the front side, because I think this side I can cover up the little spots better. I'm going to add some sprigs of pine, but you know, that's just a little too big. I 
did add two sprigs of pine. Sometimes it takes them. Sometimes they just build this pine really, really strong. Okay, come on. Come on. Here we go. And there's our sprigs of pine. And now I'm going to just make a bow. It's been a long time since I made a bow. By hand, like that. It's been a very long time. I'm just evening out the loops. And then I'll just trim this off. I'll come back and I'll, I'll probably add an ornament or something to the center of this. I'm not sure what I want right now. But you can always come back and add an ornament to the center of this bow. Or some berries or something. I'm going to add something to the center. I know that right now, but I'm not sure what. But this, this gives you an idea of how to make these. Okay, we'll go on to the red one. The red one is going to be, of course, in black and white buffalo plaid. And I'll do it the same. it 
it's tight and add some glue. That's hot. And I found this ribbon at Hobby Lobby. I thought it was really cute. I like the decorative edges on it. I thought it made it, it would make this look a lot better. Okay, let's try some more pine. Ouch. Don't pinch your finger in the wire cutter. For those instances, I always say don't do everything I do. Okay, now let's make a little bow. <clears throat> mm. And you just fluff this out. You can take your fingers and put in the loops and and make them more even if they they're a little off. And then I'll just clip a lot of this away. You don't want to clip back too far because that is what's keeping your bow together. I'm going to just trim it a little bit because he's sticking up in the air. And then just glue him onto your gift. And like I said, I'll find some kind of ornament or some kind of little embellishment to put in the center and center of these gifts. But this will be cute. Setting on a three tier tray. So there's what they'll look like setting on the tray. This one I had. Need to adjust the pine a little bit. There. And the next.
next one is our green one. And the green one's going to be poke it up. And this one's going to be a lot more simple. Instead of two of the of the pine, I I may go with one on this one because it's so small. Okay, here's how I'm doing the bows. I just adjust to the size I want it, and then make a loop because, and then twist. Make another loop, twist, make another loop, twist, and make the third loop on that side. And then twist, because this ribbon, this type of ribbon has a bad side. The other was just fine on both. So when you have a bad side, you got to make sure you do that twist or the wrong side will show. And that don't look too good. Then you take your pipe cleaner and go make like a hook. See? See it's like a hook? See it's like a hook? And then you move your thumb up and pull the hook through and do a twist of the ribbon, not the pipe cleaner. Okay. There's a refresher cord on how to make a tiny little bow handmade. I was a, I went to OSU for floral design school. And I also went to JVS for floor, for horticulture. And I used to make hundreds of bows there. And then I had my own floral shop where I made tons of bows there too. But with being a wreath maker, I tend to do more of the pro bows and easy bows. Because it's just that easier for me. I will put an embellishment here for sure. But you have the idea and you can make them your way after you have the idea. Melissa's job is just to give you the idea. But I will put a I will put an embellishment in the center. I will put like some kind of embellishment, an ornament, something that will cover that up. And I see I need to trim my pipe cleaner just a little bit more on this one. But yeah, I'll just put an ornament there to cover the, the gold. And cover the center but that will be our little blocks for for our for our tiered tray next time I'm doing four I'm doing two videos on tiered tray tiered trays and these will be in one of them